I'm Freddie Prince Jr. and I am voicing the Iron Bull. The Iron Bull is an interesting guy. He he looks one way and and acts another. He's he's very very complicated. He's the opposite of any Kanari you've ever sort of experienced in in the franchise. He is not solemn. He is not flat. He is much more emotional than than your normal Kanari. And he's really only afraid of one thing, which is demons, because they possess people and make you act weird, and it freaks him out. He's still willing to kill them and 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 hack and slash them until they're no more. But he definitely is. Uh, he's definitely afraid. He doesn't have a moral code the way we as, as mere mortals do. I think he looks at most species as survivalists and they're willing to do whatever's necessary to survive. It's not good or bad, just don't get in his way or you're gonna get ripped up. He's very much on, on sort of the, the, the defrock samurai path, sort of the, the ronin warrior. I'm gonna do my own thing unless I find a cause worth fighting for and I'll fight for that for as long as I see fit and I'll have sex with everyone and move on my way. <laughs> He's the James Bond of Canary. <laughs> I spent a year or two working for Fisher's Bleeders, but their captain was crap. Figured I could do better. I snapped his sword in half and we talked things out over drinks. I did uh, James Vega for Mass Effect 3 and he was a beta personality. I will follow orders, I will do as you say. And the bull is don't give him an order. <laughs> Don't give him an order. If you're an alpha personality, he'll get along with you well. If you compliment him, he'll be like, yes, I am great. I am fantastic, but I don't care. And that's kind of, that's sort of who he is. He's a very sort of up and down kind of kind of guy. We've hunted wyverns, fought through caves to find some old magical crap, even when giant baiting once. I've never had the passion for the movies and television that I've had for video games. So it's funny. The first one I ever did was Mass Effect, the first time I got to, to voice a video game. And I feel like gamers know how the characters should act. I feel like sometimes you play games and you just know the guy doesn't play. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm not gonna blow anybody up, but you know who you are and you shouldn't be doing it. Anybody mind if I take some souvenirs? Maybe just a couple of those pronged helmets. Right. You two just work whatever that is out of your system. Like poison, weird ass poison. And the thing that, that Mass Effect did and a lot of Bioware games do is they really play into the psychology of it. And they, it's not so much about empowering the gamer as empowering everyone in the game. The fact that you could have relationships, you know, whether they were sexual and adult in nature or whether they were just two friends and soldiers looking out for one, of, one another and knowing that they've both gone through a lot of crap, it was a big deal, and I think that's why people sort of connected to the Shepard character so much more. Like, you play Super Mario Brothers, but you're not Mario, right? You push a button and he jumps, and he says, hey, look at me. But you're never him, right? You're Shepard. Like, everything about him is your choice. So that's, I think, why the game was so special. And that's why the Dragon Age games work, because they give not just you power to make the character your own. It goes way deeper than that. It's about relationships and who do you trust and what type of characters do you like to bring into battle with you? Who's gonna help you bottleneck these mages? Who's gonna help you stay out of line of sight? We're talking Dragon Age now. Line of sight means if the mage can see you, you're frigging dead. So have a wall between you, have a corner, and send your henchmen to go help you out. And that's a good, that's a good trick to get you through. All the pros are like, yeah, whatever, we know that. But there's new people too. We're gonna do that again. Perfect. Because it's so. Uh, <laughs> I spent a year or two working for Fisher's Bleeders, but their captain was crap. Figured I could do better. The best folks in the Bleeders agreed it with me. Agreed it? They agreed it. That's plural for agreed. 